I really like you guys. You guys are one of my favorite signs. And um, I just, I'm really happy to be doing this reading for you. So thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. Um, what I'm going to do first is um, I'm going to talk about, you know, other areas of your life first, because I feel like um, you guys might want to hear that first. And then we'll clear up the spread so then I don't get energy interference when I do the love reading. OK, because I feel like I'm still trying to work through this love reading. It, it seems a little bit out of character for Virgos, but I, I feel like let's talk about this first. OK, so we're talking about the second spread first. Um, the first thing that really jumped out at me here is the two of pentacles and the two of pentacles is like juggling your finances, managing your finances, having a little bit of a bigger, better strategy to how to, you know, manage what's coming in, what's coming out. And I feel from some of you, um, this is like juggling two jobs. You guys are very proactive. You're busy bodies and you're workaholics. So I'm not surprised if you are, you know, um, putting together or piecing together two jobs to make ends meet, or you have two lucrative assignments that you're working on, or you have two revenue uh, income generating a stream that's coming into the picture for you. I feel almost like you're being solicited for possibly taking on a third set of responsibilities. Okay. We have the page of pentacles. This is news about money, finances, etc. And what I feel with this is, you know, you've already got your plates full, your, your hands are tied, your, your, you know, um, you've got so much on your plate already. And there's another income revenue stream that's trying to come in for you. Some, so somebody could, you know, reach out and be like, Hey, do you want to, you know, get involved in this project with me? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And so because your time is limited, and because you also need to, you know, take time off for yourself and really take care of yourself, you are going to need to, you know, let one thing fall away before you can take on another. OK, so be practical. And I know that you guys are very responsible. You don't commit yourself unless you know for a fact that you can follow through. And so this issue here about, you know, being all things to all people, being, um, you know, like at all places at the same time and, and feeling as if you're a superhuman and feeling like you have to live up to superhuman standards and being really hard on yourself. Um, it's not going to fly well when you are uh, overtaxing yourself or when you are, you know, working yourself to death. Okay. So be really careful about balancing work life and, and personal life, self care, self management, so that you don't um, get yourself into a state where your time is uh, limited and precious and it's squandered or um, people are making too many demands of your time or your resources. And then you end up giving so much of your energy away. Okay. Uh, what I have as well is the Ace of Wands, and this is brand new projects that can be very fruitful that you're developing with another person. This can also be a housing purchase that you're doing with another person as well. And um, I, I usually look at this. There's a house in the back. There's like a castle. Okay. And uh, when I think of castles, I think of like um, more like a place that people visit, such as, you know, like a rental home rather than a place that you're living in, like an Airbnb, uh, a, a bed and breakfast, a resort or something like that. So I feel like there is an investment opportunity for you uh, in a property, looking at a property, uh, uh, trying to buy a property and then, you know, as an investment property rather than as a home. But many of you could very well be thinking about purchasing property um, even starting new projects and thinking about the new location, where do we want to move to or where do I want to move to and where do I want to settle down? And I see like, you know, uh, wanting to get away from the daily grind, you know, the, the, the smog, the pollution, the sheer amount of people and their issues and their problems and wanting a little bit more peace and solitude. So you might be looking at uh, a ranch, a more spacious area or uh, look at an area that is a little bit less congested and, you know, more sparsely populated. And some of you as well could be looking at 
uh, rental, like renting, if you're traveling, and this is the Two of Pentacles is also greatly about traveling, wanting to make plans. So traveling even with a partner or by yourself, uh, all of these cards are very solitary, but I feel like you're traveling, you're making arrangement and accommodations possibly for travel arrangement, but also for, you know, uh, where are we staying? Are we staying at this bed and breakfast? Are we staying at this um, hotel up the mountains or this, you know, doing some sightseeing, uh, looking at big monuments is also what's coming in. So there will be a lot of plans coming into the picture. And I feel like many of you just want to get away. Okay. Um, so the energy for this week, I feel like it's a little bit unsettling. You're going to be very, very busy. And the people that you're dealing with, you're going to be called upon to do a lot of quality control and um, uh, mitigate conflict for other people is what I'm seeing. You're also going to be called in as um, a mediator. Also, I feel like damage control. So there's like a, a battle here and there's some, there's going to be the aftermath of that. And I feel like it's going to, you know, once again, um, you come in to, to kind of clean up that, whatever the aftermath is. I also feel there's a very lucrative project here that you can be involved with. And there's a lot of competitors in your midst. You definitely stand out. So for those of you applying for a house, applying for a loan, applying for a position, applying for a promotion even do not shy away from the competition do not talk yourself out of it do it okay do it because i feel like it's going to bring in a lot of good beginnings for you so we have a really good week overall here for you to you know um, solidify some plans we have as well the seven of pentacles this is a friendship vibe that I'm getting from this card. And I normally don't get friends. Um, it's not with a pentacles card. Know who your friends are. Know who's important to you. Know what's important to you. And really keeping that in mind as you progress through, you know, this solar return um, year. Okay, so the, the, the whole complete solar return cycle, but also the rest of this year. Because this is a seven, so this is like learning from the past, you know, 2017, for example. Um, it's a very spiritual number as well, and it deals more with like self-awareness, self-enlightenment, and um, karmic lessons, okay? You have been investing, so I'm just going to be blunt and say it. Um, many of you, you're investing in the wrong people, okay? Friends that you think are going to be around, Um they're around when they need something from you. And then when they, you know, when life is okay, you might not hear from them. That sounds familiar. You need to scrap those friendships and start over, okay? And um, the people that are there for you, family in, in particular, and also those uh, people that are there for you that aren't, you know, that don't just call you when... Um, when there's like crisis in their life, but they're there consistently from beginning to end. They're there whenever you run into problems and they're there to give you really good advice and counsel. Those are the ones that you need to invest your time in. So many of you are coming to a wide awakening, like a, uh, when it comes to your friendship sector and you have to make some changes, okay? Who's important, who's not? So weed out the ones that matter from the ones that don't. Because I feel like, especially for those of you who are very, very young, um, you have trouble saying no to people. You always want to be helpful. And you might have been guilt or shamed into, guilt tripped or shamed into, you know, um, like, I, I feel like you're so helpful and people take that for granted that you're always expected to be there. And then saying no is not an option for you. Learn to say no, learn to, you know, conserve your energy, learn to take care of yourself, put your needs first. So whoever is not fulfilling your needs on the friendship sector, you need to move away from it. OK, um, last thing here, I feel like there could potentially be two job offers on the table as well. And you're weighing out the pros and cons of each one. Or there could be, you know, a new job offer and you're like, do I stay or do I go? Do I stay or do I go? And um, I just feel like there's a lot of inner conflict here. As many reasons to stay as, as there are reasons to go. 
And so this is something you're going to have to work out on your own, but you really need to think about, you know, what do you, I want, what do I need? And family is so important here for whatever reason. You might be very far from your family. You might be homesick, but I feel like family is really important. So let's, let me clear this up because it keeps talking to me and, um, I want to be able to focus on your love reading. And so that is mainly why I decided to do the bottom spread first. So if you are dealing with an Aquarius um, or you have Aquarius in your chart, sun, moon, or rising in an Aquarius sign, you might want to watch that um, video because Aquarius got the same card in the same position. And uh, what I told Aquarius and is also what I'm going to tell you, this is your energy. It's a little bit different because of all the other cards, but this is somebody who's made it, okay? They're attractive inside and out. So this isn't just, you know, somebody who's good looking and hot and, and, and shallow inside. This is somebody who has been through a lot. They know who they are. They're very strong minded. They're beautiful. They're attractive. They're worldly. They have uh, traveled many places and, you know, they've dealt with all kinds of people from all walks of life. And they're at a point where they're operating at this frequency and uh, they could potentially be very single. So many of you could be very single. Um, and I feel like the, the, the thing about you guys is um, you don't take enough credit for your capabilities or your own worth or your own, you know, like how great you are. So this is, um, in a way, it's a little bit different from Aquarius because with the Aquarius people, Aquarius people are very... Uh, um, I want to say like, they're very, very forgiving of themselves. They're not critical or self-critical the way that Virgos are. And so Aquarius rarely deal with uh, body image issues, okay? Aquarius knows what look good on them and they're not going to lie about what doesn't look good on them. But I feel like with Virgos, even the things that look good on you, you know, the dress, the shirts, the shoes, you still feel very self-conscious in your own skin. So one way in which we can overcome the self-consciousness and to really uh, embody and really, you know, feel comfortable in our own skin, in our own body is if we do like physical activities, you know, like sports, dancing, um, especially dancing. I feel like it helps you really feel the rhythm in your body and it helps you really just be grounded in your body. So I do see some self-consciousness and self-body image issues. And um, which brings me to my next point. I feel like some of you are dating, single and dating. This is the online dating card, looking at all the other options, looking at what's on the table and really, really looking at what's coming towards you. OK. And I feel like for those who are single, you might be experimenting with um, dating, possibly multiple people or doing things that are a little bit more risque. Um, risque for you for example, is not risque like for an Aquarius. Aquarius have a whole new other level of, you know, risk. But for you guys, you guys are a little bit more, not all of you, majority of you though, because, you know, you're the virgin. Um, a lot of you guys, uh, the way that you love is a lot more traditional. And so somebody I feel like is soliciting you, like, send me pictures, send me, you know, um, whatever it is, or let's try to experiment in the bedroom. Let's, you know, whatever that is. Okay. So you, I hope you understand what I mean, but I feel like it's a realm of, um, it's, it's a realm that you're not comfortable with. And I also feel there is a fascination. <laughs> there, there is some curiosity and fascination from your end about, you know, sexual experimentation. But when it comes down to it, you're not ready. You're not um, comfortable with it. If you're not comfortable with it, do the research to really figure out, you know, am I just not comfortable because it's new or am I not comfortable because I don't understand technically and logistically how it works. And as soon as, and you know, this is like um, Virgo and trait right, right here. 
when you understand something, you will know how to do it because I feel like you're so hard on yourself and you also want to be so perfectionistic with everything that you do. You have to be perfect at it. Okay. And that's why you don't like to try new things, mainly because it, it gives you this sense of discomfort. What if I do it wrong? So I feel like there's a lot of um, kinkiness when it comes to love relationships and possibly somebody talking you into doing something you're not comfortable with. If you are dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, they're um, very, very experimental. And they might, you know, they, they, they do have the gift of the gab and they might uh, talk you into doing something that you don't want to do or they might, you know, be very persuasive and... I don't see coercion, but I feel like this person might not be the best person. They're like self-serving. So if you're dealing with that energy, be very, very careful. Okay, if you're so eager to please as well, be careful. And for those of you who are, you know, on the younger age spectrum, um, I feel like you're like this. You're beautiful and pristine and, you know, a lot of people would be so lucky to have you. You don't need to settle for these types of energies, okay? Especially if they're coercing you into doing things that you don't want to do or you're not comfortable with. Um, trust your instinct. Trust your intuition. And I feel like what's happening here is um, with this hermit card, this is your card. This is your spirit guides. This is your essence. This is your intuition as well. If your intuition is telling you something's off, it probably, there, there's some truth to that. So, you know, try to look into it a little bit further. Do your research. Um, ask questions, okay? Don't be so like, um, I want to say, don't, don't be so, don't be afraid of how other people uh, judge you or perceive you. This is your life, right? And some things can be done and they're irreversible. So you need to know all the details before you get involved. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody that has attention problems. They're never happy with just one person. And you're trying to keep them like happy. And I feel like it's at the expense of your emotional well-being. And then I also feel as well, you know, that um, there, there might be an air sign that you're dealing with and there's some stoppage in communication. And it really hurts your self-esteem because you're like, did I do something wrong? Did I say something wrong? It, it, it makes you go through, cycle through, you know, this self-doubt and negative self-talk. Like, why are they not talking to me? Did I do something wrong? No, they're not talking to you because they're probably with somebody else. So... This is a week where we kind of have to, you know, kind of uh, don't internalize the energy. Rather, um, you know, it, maybe the mantra this week is, it's not me, it's them. The problem is, it's not you. You're like this. You're wonderful and awesome and, you know, um, desirable. The problem is with the other person. They're like this. They're sneaky, they're cunning, they're self-serving, they will steal from the poor, you know, like they're, they're just, they're not worth your time, okay? So be careful about to whom and, you know, you are devoting your time because I feel like you're vibrating at a really, really good frequency, same with Aquarius. And you don't need to get yourself in situations that are not, un that are uncomfortable or that you're not you know, feeling, okay? So really, really trust your heart and ask yourself, do that, that check, check up on yourself every, you know, if you're dealing with this energy, how do I feel? Do I want to go home and leave this person or do I want to go home with this person? Ask yourself every 10 minutes because I feel like your intuition is trying to steer you the right way, but you're kind of caught up in the potential of what could be rather than looking at the reality of what is happening right now. So doing that internal monologue, like, how do I feel? Ask yourself every 10 minutes, how do I feel about this person? What new information did they give me? Does that change anything? So, you know, have that monologue with yourself. Okay. 
I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, I wish you all the best. Please take care of yourself. Okay. Take care of yourself. You do not need to please anybody. Okay. So um, give yourself some credit and give yourself a voice. All right. You don't need to please anybody. Okay. Take care of Virgos. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.